I've done a few live mural gigs over the past couple years. So when this massive billion dollar cybersecurity company wanted me to do the same for their next event, it was time to let it rip once again. This time in the wild Las Vegas. The conference was to be held Monday through Wednesday. So on Sunday, I made my way over to Caesar's Palace to get ready to rock. Inside the convention center, hundreds of people were busy at work getting it set up. A task that, until this moment, I had no idea how much effort was put into it. It looked like a cardboard war zone, and this was supposed to open up tomorrow afternoon. As I made my way over to the mural station where I would be painting for the next few days, I noticed the guys were still busy at work getting the structure in place, and there was a long way to go. They were hustling as fast as they could to get everything ready for when the doors open tomorrow at 4.30. But little did I know, the man in charge right here was actually a big fan. And so, I'm gonna sign the blueprints. Yeah, go for it, that's where you're gonna be. It's only appropriate, right? Well, uh, <laughs> that's awesome, man. Hell yeah. That's absolutely legit, man. Thank you so much, yeah. that's a lot to me. I knew I was in great hands with Doug here, so I was just waiting to get started the next day. But like any great event, Things weren't uh, going totally according to plan. And with the stage still getting built and the canvas nowhere to be seen, we had to come up with a plan B, which actually solved another big problem that we had. So there's supposed to be a Mercedes F1 racing car right here at the platform, but uh, it is uh, stuck somewhere on a truck and broken down in the middle of America somewhere. So. Uh, they said, hey, Kipto, while that car isn't here, we want you to paint this platform and make it look cool for us. So let's give it a whirl, man. Let's do it. So it was now up to me to make this spot look as cool as possible in under three hours during the opening party. And before I could even think about what I wanted to paint, the floodgates opened up and hundreds of people started flowing into the room. No time to think. Just got to grip it and rip it. Here we go. You only make you feel like you could never leave. Do the same, we can't go back. This is all we need. You follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever, and so does me and you. I got into this flow state, uh, quite literally, and started dancing up on the platform with my roller and creating some fun shapes and just really just having fun with it. Are you part of the show? <laughs> yeah. I get naked by the end too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Good. <laughs> Freestyle. Yeah. I'm doing another one over there and I do have a blueprint for that one. Yeah, this one's like there was like a last minute, like, hey, the car's missing. Can you paint the platform oh, instead? Right, right. Okay. So I'm just like having a fun little dance up here. Yeah. What's, your, yeah. what's your name? Are you on Instagram or something? Yeah, Kip Toe. That's awesome, man. Yeah, man. What's your name? Donnie. Donnie? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, thanks. If you like to be, then you're finished. It's just a fun design for this part here. I'm just doing some shapes and stuff. It's perfect. Artsy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I know. I don't even know what's gonna you look don't like. Even know, yeah, right yeah. Now. I know. I'm just throwing stuff up here. But you know there's gonna be a car over it tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I'm not trying that hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, man. Thanks. So what did they say they wanted here? Yeah, they just wanted something that would look cool. My sister got more of the musical slash uh, artistic talents of the family, I feel uh, like. I yeah. got more of the technical uh, right. computer smarts of the family, probably. Well, someone's going to have those. <laughs> <laughs> We're balancing it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, nice job. Hey, man. thanks, dude. Take Appreciate care. it. Mm. Wow. Empanadas are amazing. Mm. Mm. Catering my corporate events is always the best. And it's free. And it's right there. Man, living the life. What do you, what do you, what do you think? You like it? I do. It's 
It's like uh, channeling the, the F1 speed and the... Flow, man. It's the flow. It's the flow. We're all in the flow. Exactly. It's, a, it's a metaphor for life, man. <laughs> <laughs> for your day. For your day. It's Monday. This is this is the week ahead of us. Exactly. You know? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Yeah, there'll be some ebbs and flows. Right. Some highs, some lows. Now we're rhyming. Exactly. <laughs> and with the final drips in place and the first night winding down, it was time to show off the platform. The first project was complete. This was a really fun warm-up and a great stretch of my impromptu abstraction skills. And even this fun little happy accident with these red lines connecting like 50 feet away. And of course, as the next morning rolled around, damn, that looks so sick. So, with one success in the bag, it was time for the main event. With the canvas in place, my job continues. I rolled on a base coat and quickly plotted in a grid to get my drawing up in place. It's uh, taking a little longer to dry than usual because in this like dark, indoor, slightly humid conference room. And I'm behind because I started the whole day behind. But uh, I'm gonna pull through no matter what. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's pretty chill. This is Doug. Say what's up. This is the man who hired the man. This right guy's amazing. <laughs> Get him at your next event. Yeah. So CrowdStrike has these villainous mascots, what they call adversaries, for particular hacker groups around the world. These four new ones were the subject matter for what they wanted me to paint for this event. I designed a few different thumbnails to send to them for compositions, and they liked this one the best. I never really became a comic book artist like I wanted to as a kid, but I sure keep finding ways to make that dream a reality in my current path. And I just think it's pretty cool. And uh, sure pays a lot more too. I actually usually wait till later to add my blacks, but this design is particularly graphic and bold, so I wanted to get those blacks in there nice and, and at the beginning to really set the tone for the rest of the piece here and to really carve out the, the shapes of the characters. They can pop out and then I can start adding all the extra spicy details. So, uh, let's add those blacks. Since this was an indoor event, I couldn't use any spray paints or anything, so brush it was. And by the time I got most of those blacks in there, it was already lunchtime. And oh man, the catering was even better than yesterday. Nice to see them supporting the artists. Some uh, analog into this technology convention, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm telling you, the catering is amazing. I try to never miss an opportunity for free food because uh, I remember back in the day what it was like trying to feed myself starting out, you know, and then you go to events just for the free food. Never grew out of that mentality. And especially with stuff like this, man. And it's usually a struggle to try and get some food in my belly when I'm painting murals. So this is, uh, this is quite a treat. Okay, back to work. I'm no stranger to the brush, but uh, man, it definitely does take a little longer and can get a little frustrating trying to fill everything in. Okay, all these fills and big shapes are taking way longer than I thought. But uh, I got most of the way there. Man, I just wanna make stuff look cool. So uh, let's tackle this guy right here. After trucking along with all the big blocks of color, it was finally time to have some fun. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's keep it going. These characters they sent me were pretty intricate, but they definitely wanted a Kipto version of it all and have it be dynamic and colorful like my other work, which was somewhat challenging at first to break these guys down, but after a while, I really started to feel them out. And as cocktail hour approached, the first day was a wrap. Uh, well, quite the eventful first day here. Got a good amount done here. Tucking some paint around. It's hard to capture the uh, candidness of people on camera, but there's a bunch of people that came up and were saying how cool it was to watch it, you know, 
transformed throughout the whole day and like they were really captivated by it and they just thought it was so cool and uh, it's really nice to hear and you know I, I do this all the time so sometimes I just get kind of in the habit of everything but uh, it's nice to have the feedback of people who have like never seen something like this before and uh, even had a few YouTube fans and I never would have thought I would have fans here at this event but uh, it was actually kind of cool to have a couple subscribers come up and say what's up so Gotta finish the whole thing by tomorrow, so uh, let's rock and roll, baby. Okay, so it's about 9 a.m. right now. I wanna finish by about 3 p.m. today so people have enough time to uh, come by and check out the finished piece before the whole thing closes down. So uh, let's get to work, baby. So not only was I painting the mural, but I was also in charge of designing the t-shirts for the event to match the mural, which I had a lot of fun creating. It was so cool to see people walking around with my design on their chest, and they ended up selling out. Although it was kind of funny when I tried to get one for myself. I went up to the counter and it was, they were like, hey, this is the guy who designed the shirt. And the guy behind the counter was like, um, what, what is his name? Let me see. Uh, no, I do not, I do not see him in, in the system here. I, um, uh, nope. No, I'm sorry, I cannot see you a t-shirt. Someone else actually had to go get one for me, but it looks pretty sick. And if you want in on some fresh new Kipto designs, I got some extra Blood Moon Cowboy shirts from my recent project. And if I'm being totally honest, I usually get kind of scared about how the things are gonna look once they're printed on the shirts, but man, once these came in, I was so stoked on how these came out. They look so sick. All the colors are popping and the details, like every intricate line and brushwork and detail that I put in here is, is crystal clear and it's just, so sick and it's it's nice and soft it's not chunky it doesn't feel thick or anything so it's it's super nice so if you want to pick one up very very limited quantities left from the project i just did so uh check it out kipto.com now let's head back to vegas and finish this mural with the first day under my belt and the canvas totally dry i was able to get a handle on this a little faster and really start plowing through this design this bold graphic style I was going for with this piece, I started having some happy accidents, like getting a dry brush and doing these half tones for some shading and started to really like how that was looking and was building some nice momentum on my progress for this piece here. And people were starting to take notice. Good, I like it. Really, really, really cool. What's your favorite part? Is this it? Are you done? I, just, I, just, I like just the whole creation. Yeah. I, I, I like having it for be just you know, a raw wall to seeing it come together. It's impressive. It's fun. Yeah. It's different. Bring something cool to the yeah. to the conference. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like Is that. it a canvas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they can take it off and roll it up and do what they want with it. So super cool. Yeah. What do you what 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 do you find most interesting? What's your favorite part of the, either the result of the process? I've been like honing in on my uh, on like making mm -hmm. my marks more simplified and my shapes and my design and my colors more simplified so I like how I could kind of make it more graphic than usual and be more restrained with my strokes and my like detail work and make sure just like have the colors in a certain area just like really pop and just kind of leave it alone uh, which is something that I'm experimenting with. It's a yeah. You mind if we do a picture together? Yeah let's do it. And with the last strokes in place, this piece was finally ready to shine. When I first started putting my work out there, I didn't want to diverge from what I already loved. Just a big kid painting superheroes. It can seem frightening at first to try and stay the course, but more often than not, the right people will see it, and the right opportunities will present themselves. I love painting, but what I think I love even more is the little pockets of communities like and experiences yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah, people yeah. I get to meet cool. that make it even more special. Making a living as a full-time artist can be hard. It can be lonely, frustrating, and clueless, but sometimes it's just a matter of perspective and cherishing the cool things that I actually do get to do. It's always my favorite part of the job. And 
thank you for coming along with me for the ride. Mission success. If you like my work, I got t-shirts, sticker packs, prints, all sorts of cool stuff over there to spark your fancy. Big shout out to my Patreon members. You guys are the best. I'm about to head off to a Chainsmokers concert. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.